it's me, Bev B. Today I have an unboxing unbagging from a company called Colorful DIY. They actually reached out to me and let me pick some stuff off their website and uh, sent it to me so I could review it for my YouTube channel. If you're new here and you like diamond painting, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I post new videos on a regular basis. Just to put it out there that some of their art is unlicensed, so you wanna make sure you use TinEye or Google reverse search to make sure you're not buying stolen images. And that's quite common with, with these companies that um, sell mass produced, mass produced, sell, snack size diamond paintings um pretty popular across the board and even when people are doing drop shipping you have to be careful of unlicensed artwork so just be careful but i do understand that not everyone has the budget to buy premium diamond paintings so that's why i do these so i can show you other options let's get started so first i have we'll empty out this bag there's only three things to review so it'll be a really quick one i have this alien cross stitch we'll look at that after i have a little folio what you would call it and a diamond painting so let's look at the folio first comes to us in this bag a basic toolkit and i should also mention these are budget friendly so if you are looking for a snack size diamond painting or you're looking for something that's not over $50, this could be the website for you. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, so those are the drills. And then this is the folio. Okay, it's a passport. I think it's passport folio. Yeah, for some reason I was like, oh, uh, this is a really big passport folio. So basically you fold it in half. And then this top part, don't look at my nails, please. <laughs> this top part or this front area is what you would drill. You would drill the back area too. So you can see that the area, the drill area is clear and you're not drilling every single area. There's some blank spots. Looks good. And then in here is where you would put your passport. So the front and the back page and then it would just sit in here like this. That's pretty cute. Uh, you could also use this for other stuff besides a passport, but I don't know for what, but it's up to you. It's your thingy. You do what you want to do with it. Take a look at the drills. Ooh. I like looking at the special drills that these kits come with. So I'm going to show them to you. Ooh, this black is really pretty. Clayton, you can walk. Um, here's some blue ABs, lots of sparkly ones, and then this looks like white ABs. Then look at the ones that come separate. Some pearlescent ones, some bigger AB things. Don't mind that noise, that is my printer. These are really pretty. I like these ones. Some blue ones and more blue ones. I really need to do my nails. If anyone would like to come over and do my nails, that would be appreciated. I should try and get those like sticker things for nails because that would be easier. But I'm not going to. Because they're like $10. And who wants to spend $10 on nails? Not me. <laughs> so we'll put this one back in, in our bag. Okay, not putting it back in the bag because I can't fit it in. Then we'll open up this diamond painting. I don't remember which one this one is. My printer is going for a very long time. Comes with shake, 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 basic toolkit, drills. Oh yeah, this is the pop art one. I think this is the one Ruby Q unboxed on her channel or one similar to this. And I was like, I need that one. So it's really cute. 
lots of color blocking, which is why I ordered it. Because it was like, I want to do a snack, but I don't want to do any confetti. So color blocking is where there's a whole bunch of the same color in the same area. And confetti is opposite, where there's a bunch of different colors in the same area. And it takes longer to do. I like color blocking. You just have to make sure your drills are really straight, which is kind of annoying. Because I just like putting down drills and being like, okay, it's okay if they're not straight. Because I'm not a perfectionist. The drill field looks really clear. Look at her lips. And this one is only six colors. Take a look at the drills because this looks like more than six bags. There's probably going to be multiples of each bag. Yeah, so there's like three bags of 310. No DMCs, but 310 is black. So there are the colors for the kit. Very vibrant. There's a one that is lost in the wrong bag. These look like they'll turn out okay. I like this pop art one. And this one I'll put in my diamond painting portfolio, which is just like a black book with sleeves in it. Then we'll take a look at this alien spaceship dude astronaut I was like spaceship dude what are spaceship dudes called so this is a cross stitch kit similar to diamond painting but you're using thread aka floss I should call it before cross stitchers get mad at me so you get this little preview is this a sticker no it's not a sticker but it's really cute I'll probably cut it out and put it in my log book then you get a printed version of the canvas so you can see here's the schematic this is very similar to diamond painting but it's just using floss floss here are instructions on how to cross stitch that is my cat meowing this is a very loud background video for you sorry and then here is floss it comes to you on this like pre-punched card and they, these go by number in the schematic. Burp, do that. Hopefully they don't get tangled. A giant thing of it's like bluish black floss. And then here's our cat. Hello cat. Want to be part of my unboxing? Is that why there's cat hair everywhere? So here is the canvas or whatever you want to call it, the cloth, whatever cloth. And you can see it's very clear. And then there is the, the schematic again. So it's, oh, it's like, excuse me. <laughs> So it's exactly like the printed version, except the printed version has actual symbols. But it looks like it's like a mini ver or bigger version of the printed version because it even says this stuff. What are your thoughts on my order from Colorful DIY? Let me know in the comments below. I really like, have you tried cross stitch before? Do you prefer printed or counted cross stitch? Counted cross stitches where there's no print on the fabric and you have to count. Hence, counted cross stitch. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video. If you're new here, go ahead and click the subscribe button. If you love diamond painting, I'd love to have you as part of my hive. And I'm going to go now. Okay, bye.